Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained what the basic commands, these basic commands, MKDR, LS, and so on. In this part of the video, I'm going to explain these two commands. And I hope you have watched the first part of the video and uh, how you also know how to add and manage users for that. Click on the links given in the description. So the next command that I'm going to talk about is CHOWN. That stands for change owner. And uh, what's the meaning of owner? See, when you create any file or folder that is owned by a certain user. Fine. So uh, how to check the user LS space hyphen L. That's going to show you the listing of the folders and directories in a long format. And by the long format, as you can see, this is the longer format. This column after this. Uh, this it represents who is the owner of the file here the name of the user is the user itself that's why you're getting all users here all these files uh the blue color are, are directories and black one are your files these are owned by the user named user and the next column it represents the group to which group uh, these files and folders belongs fine so right now these uh, the name of the user and the owner and the uh, group are same which is user itself and how you can change it see the command is chown uh, first thing is I should have a user first. So I'm going to create a user first if I find user add and press uh, Let's say I'm going to create a user green and press enter Of course, you will get an error that the user uh, command not found why because you have logged in as a single uh, simple user You don't have as a to create the user you should know the uh, ha you should have the rights of root You can check uh, I, I'm sure you, you have watched the video uh, previous video on uh, users and if you haven't watched it, go and just watch it before you uh, know about the permissions at all because you should know about the users first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to log in as a root. So it will ask for the password, enter your password. You won't see anything, just enter your password and press enter. So now I have, I have logged in as root. And if I apply, apply ls space my, uh, hyphen l, you, you will see there are different, use, different files and folders here. Why? Because when I was applying this command, I said apply this command on the me uh, users users main directory now what i'm saying that apply this command ls and show that means show me the contents of main directory of root not show me the contents of the directory room uh, root but what i wanted to do earlier uh, you can i can demonstrate you uh, changing as you can see here the user is root uh, for hcl user is jerry and uh, uh, the group is cartoons and uh, this column is group fine so let me demonstrate you the example over here fine let's say i want to change the honor of hp directory to let's say green okay so let's add the user user add green and press enter so user green exists i already have this user okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a group as well so the command is group add and press uh, just mention any group name um, g123 that's the name of my group and press enter so i have the user green and i have the group g123 command is simple chown and after that you will mention the name of the user let's say green colon mention the name of the group one two three and mention the name of file or folder on which you want to apply the permission and press enter i want to check it again ls space hyphen l and as you can see now the user has been uh, made to uh, the user is green now and the group is g123 and one uh, regarding this i want to tell you about more uh, tell you more about chown command okay yeah uh, if you check about the full syntax the full syntax is like this this is the complete syntax fine chown you mention the username colon you mention the group name space file or direct uh, file or folder name fine directory name let's say you want to change the username only in in the case you want to change the username only what you will do you will skip this portion fine you will mention chown username then file or directory name and if you want to change the group name group name only you will skip this portion see if you are writing column with the with the name that means uh, for the computer it's an instruction that it's a group name and if you are writing any name without a column that means it's an instruction to the computer that it's a username let me show you here you can change the user only and you can change the group only as well let's say i want to change the uh, user to jerry instead of green so what i'll do chown uh, green, uh, instead of green i want to make it jerry and press 
uh, for which file and folder HP and press enter and let's check it again and now the Jerry has been made the user so if you want to change the group only what you will do column column indicates I'm talking about the group I want to change the group to let's say root and press enter now the group has been changed to root clear so ch uh, OWN is going to change the owner in the owner in the sense you are going to change the user and you are going to change the group now let's just to add to your knowledge previously I was working with uh, when I changed the owner I was working with the main directory uh, of root let's say I want to work with the other users directly then I have, what I have to do see if you check here if it into go into my computer in your file system you have you have to know the hierarchy first in your main system you have home in home you have all the users as you can see user is here I created the user uh, green that is here and all the all other users are here fine so you have to go to that path I, I, I need to change my directory fine so what I will do you already know this command okay so what I will do I'll do cd space dot dot then I, I have to reach to the top the main uh, I mean the main directory of the entire computer not the root directory shift I cd first in uh, in cd I have home in home I have user directory and if I check the contents of user directory now this is same as the contents of this so you can start working directly here okay okay what's wrong with it and if you check here the contents will be the same of course all the contents are same okay so you can also work with this and the uh, you can apply also apply the command let's say you want to change the uh, user for this file okay I want to change the user user sorry chown change owner change owner make it to Mr. Green and the group, let's say, uh, what was the group? G123 for the file F33 and press enter, and we are done. Okay, so you can see that. Fine. So you can also work with different users. Not all you have to do is work with different directories. And you, in the previous video, I already explained that what's the use of CD command. Okay, so. Let's talk about the second uh, command, uh, the next command that is chmod, change mode, what's change mode, change mode is going to change the permissions, these things, okay, now what's the meaning of this, see, uh, if you talk about this, the very first symbol, it, it, it will be either D or either it will be a hyphen symbol, now hyphen symbol means, okay, let me make a folder first, so that you can see uh, D here, mkdr space, let's say, um, um, random folder that's the name just any random name fine so if I apply ls space minus l here you can see this was a directory and you can see here's a d here and all these are files that's why you are get, getting first thing is hyphen here so first thing first symbol that represents whether it's a directory or uh, directory or file after this there are nine different places now nine different places are grouped into the set of three. First three places they represent the permission for user. Next three places they represent the permission for group. And the last three they represent the permission for others. Now what's the meaning of this? See when you the first three places why why they are in three places? Because we have just three permissions for the uh, in Linux. Read, write, and execute. R stands for read, W stands for write, and X stands for execute. Okay, so that's why for user I can apply three permissions. For group I can apply three permissions, and for any other user in the sense the owner who who has the rights to this uh, file or folder. And in computer obviously there is not only a single user, there might be multiple users as well. And others means any other user which is not the owner. Fine. So let's talk about the command. See if I apply ch mod let's say i don't want to give any permission to anyone for the file hp okay so if i apply okay let me talk about this in detail so let's come here you have to learn about this simple uh, modes w stands for write x for execute r for read u for user g for group o for others a for all plus is we are going to add the permission 
permission permission and uh, minus means you are going to remove the permission or you are going to delete the permission okay so these are the symbols that we are going to use let me show you an example here now let's come back okay so let's say i don't want to remove all the permissions for every single user or maybe group or maybe others or whatever they are on on the file hp so for all we have the symbol a I want to remove the permission, so I'll use the symbol minus. Which permission? All the permission, and we have just three permissions: R, W, and X. Fine. Space on which file? HP file. So I'll write HP and press enter. Now let me check again. L space minus L, and you can see all nine places are empty. That means I have removed all the permission for first is first three honor, second three group, and the last three for others. Now the next question is: What if I want to give read write and execute all the permissions for the group now mind it i'm saying that group that means i will i should work on the next three uh, places that means starting for first will be indication whether it's a file or four next three are for the honor and next three are for the group so these three uh, positions should be filled okay the command is chmod i want to work with the group so g i want to add the permissions so plus which permissions read Right and execute all the permissions for HP and press enter. And let's check it again. And as you can see, these three places are filled. First three are empty, and last three are empty. Now let's uh, add one more question. Let's do one more question. Let's say I want to give a uh, write permission. Uh, I want to give read and write permission for the user. Remove the execute permission for the group group and give read permission only for the others. Okay. So chmod. What I want to do, I want to give read and write permission for the user. For the user, I want to give read and write permission. For the group, I want to remove execute permission. For the group, I want to remove some minus. Which permission? Execute permission. And for others, I want to give only read permission. So after that, uh, for the file, let's be in press enter and let's check it. See. For user, I have given read and write permission. As you can see, an execute permission is empty. I haven't given that. For the group, I removed earlier it was all the permission. Now I have removed the permission execute. And for the others, what I said, only give the read permission. As you can see, only read permission is given, and all other permissions are empty. So this is how you work with ch. Uh, you can give and assign and remove the permission, and also you can change the honors as well. So I hope this is clear to you. And thanks for watching. And just be happy and the best for your future thanks you thank you